Hey everyone, welcome to my beginner's tutorial for Adobe After Effects CS4. This tutorial is for those that just got the program and are trying to figure out the basics and aren't sure on what to do yet. So once you're in After Effects, the first thing you're going to want to do is create a new composition. Now there's many ways to do this. You can go to the composition menu at the top and hit new composition. You can hit this little film strip icon down here, or you can just hit control N on your keyboard. Now once you're creating your composition, there's a variety of settings that you can change. You can change the name, I'm just going to call this Composition 1. You can change the preset to something for high definition video clips or widescreen video clips. There's a variety of them for you to choose. I'm just going to choose this NTSC DV one. You can also customize the width and height uh, to fit your camera settings. And you can also screw around with the time code and duration. I'm just going to change the duration to 20 and hit OK. Now once our composition is created, we can start importing video clips into the project box. To do this, just hit the file menu at the top, go down to import and hit file. I'm just going to import this stock footage that I found on the internet. By the way, this uh, video clip is royalty free, so there's no copyrights or anything like that. Once we have our video clip in the project box, we can just take it and drag it into the timeline down here. Now that it's in our timeline, we can move it freely within our 20 second boundaries, but I just like to align it with the zero mark so that it's, you know, aligned. Alright, so now that our clip is aligned in our timeline, we can start to work with it. First, I'm just going to do a quick preview. Now to do a RAM preview, hit the zero key on the number pad, and we'll start to preview it. You might want to wait a few seconds. Once it's finished rendering, you can go up here to the play button and just view it. As you can see, it plays without any lag or anything. It's all smooth, so ideally you're going to want to use RAM previews when you're testing out effects and such. Alright, now that I've showed you how to preview your clips, I'm going to show you how to add an effect to a clip. So I'm just going to take my playhead to the zero mark again, and we're going to add just a basic color correction effect. So make sure that you selected your layer by clicking on it, then go to the effect menu at the top, and then just choose whatever you want really. You should experiment with them all, but I'll just do something simple like color correction and then curves. All right, now on the left hand side of the screen, we can edit our effects. So for in this case, you drag the line to whatever way you want uh, up to the top left for a, like a brighter image and then to the bottom right for like a darker image. Now, I don't know, it's kind of confusing. If you ever screw up, you just hit control Z to undo. So in this case, I'm just going to make it a bit darker like that. Any effect that you use in After Effects can be keyframed. This just means animating your effect. I would show you an example right now, but I'm going to show you a more simple example later on in the video. Now that I've showed you how to use effects, I'm going to move on to text. So let's just quickly undo this so that our effect is gone like that. Now go up here to the tool panel and hit this T icon. This is the text tool, the horizontal type tool to be more precise. Now that the tool is selected, just click anywhere on your composition and you can begin typing. I'll call this Rocky Mountain. You can also change a few of the settings for your text if you highlight it. And then go on the right hand side, you can change the font. I could change it to like something like this. And then I can make it bold or italicized or both. Do whatever you want really. You can also change the color by double clicking on this and then changing the color. Now if you want to move or resize your text, go up here to the selection tool, it's just the cursor icon. And then we can uh, drag these nodes and hold shift to constrain the the proportions of our text and we can also just move it around. Now I'm going to show you how to keyframe the text to do a variety of things. Now if we go down here to our timeline there's a little flippy triangle thing next to our rocky mountain text layer. Just click that and then we have two menus here. Let's just go to transform. Then we have a variety of parameters to work with. Right now we're going to keyframe the position so that our text moves from the left hand side of the screen to the right hand side. So just drag your text to the outside like I just did. Now here where we, it says position, there's a little stopwatch icon and there's a stopwatch icon beside every parameter, but we're just going to work with position, hit the stopwatch icon, and then take our playhead, move it to like, so let's say the three second mark, and then just take your text layer and move it to the right hand side of the screen. Just keep moving it. Now we've created two keyframes here and these two keyframes are basically saying um, from the time it takes between the zero second mark and the three second mark move the text from here to here. So we take our playhead move it to the zero mark and you can see that the text moves. The next thing I'm going to show you is a simple fade in with text. First of all let's delete our current keyframes by just making a box like this 
and then hitting the delete key on our keyboard and now it resets the keyframes to nothing now let's just move this back if I can there we go so our text is in full center now and now I'm just gonna make it fade into the picture so let's take this opacity parameter down here and just take the slider put it to zero you can also hold shift to make the I don't know what to call it but just to make it like change settings quicker so I'm gonna ch uh, change it to zero and again it's the same thing basically just with a different parameter hit the stopwatch move the playhead to let's do it the one and a half second mark here and then change the opacity to a hundred percent and it's the same thing it's just two keyframes but with a different parameter and this work it's like the same basic idea with every effect in after effects so again we take our playhead and now you can see that it fades in i'm also going to show you some very very basic masking um, first of all let's just take this text and just whoa not that okay let's just take this text and just move it down here now if we go up here to the tool panel where it says rectangle tool first of all let's just select our uh, rocky mountain like the video clip and then take the rectangle tool and just you know make whatever shape you want and then it only takes this part of the video clip see now we've created a very basic mask on our video clip and now with the text we already have we can still keyframe it to do whatever we want so let's go back up to the tool panel and hit the selection tool and then we're gonna go to our Rocky Mountain text layer and just select it and we're gonna move it out of the composition again and we're just gonna do the same keyframe we did a few seconds ago but first of all put the play ahead to the zero hit position the position stopwatch right here for the keyframe and then let's just make the playhead to oh the two second mark I guess and then we'll just move it to the end of the composition again there's gonna be one um, added difference this time around we're gonna add a motion blur to our text to make it look a little more realistic now in After Effects adding motion blur is very simple there's only two switches we need to apply in order for the motion blur to take effect now right here on our text layer we have these little switches here we're gonna take the one that has like these little three circles going into the top right corner It's just this one right here just check that and then up here the bigger version of the motion blur we're just gonna click that and what this does is it enables motion blur for every single clip in our composition alright so now we've enabled motion blur for everything in our composition and we have keyframes on the text and mask on our clip so now with all that worked in one big preview it'll look something like this I'm just gonna do a quick round preview again there we go and I'll just play it right here and there we go we have a basic I guess you could call it an intro but it's not that good but it's just taking the very basics of After Effects and creating something with it so I've talked about the play controls I've talked about basic keyframing basic masking some effects and yeah I just went over the basics of After Effects now After Effects is a very complicated program you're gonna need to learn a lot about it to use it correctly uh, this one video is just here to show you the basics and hopefully now you'll be able to step into other more complicated effects with a bit more confidence so yeah I hope this tutorial has helped you and thanks for watching